know, every time I think about LeBron James' legacy, I can't lie to you guys and act like I don't think about some of the players that Bron was able to win with at the point of their careers that they were in when LeBron James won with him. You know, I think the world about Dwayne Wade. I really like Chris Bosh, but I got to be honest with you. As I go back to those Miami Heat days, Chris Bosh was really good, but obviously right after LeBron left, he pretty much barely played another basketball game. Not to say LeBron didn't get good Chris Bosh, but like I'm saying, after that, like Chris didn't have that five- to eight-year run after LeBron James left like I thought he would. Granted, he was the first battle Hall of Famer, but for me it's like, yo, LeBron got it done with Chris Bosh. Nobody else can say that. Dwayne Wade. You know, here's the thing about, about D-Wade. I bet if, if D-Wade could go back and have those years that he had with LeBron in Miami again, I bet he would take better care of himself. I bet that. I don't know that. I've never had a convo with Dwayne Wade, never met the brother, but I bet he would, he would do that. And obviously Dwayne Wade was in great shape overall, but what I'm saying is, like, he stayed injured a lot, and then he were able to get two out of four. But I bet Dwayne Wade, if if he could go back and do it over again with LeBron, he would have liked to be in the shape that he ended up being after he left Miami, went to Chicago, recommitted his body, got back with old trainers, and then obviously was able to stretch his career out for a couple more years. He ended up in back in Miami. I bet Dwayne Wade would have liked to take his years with LeBron from a physical standpoint, he had a lot of personal stuff going on at that time, more serious, do whatever it needed to be done to get people around him that could have helped him out with his personal issues that he had going. I'm not saying that were his fault, but he had stuff going on. I bet Dwayne Wade would have liked to squeeze more out of that lemon that was LeBron James and Chris Bosh and the Miami heat at the time. Now let's go to LeBron's Cleveland return. 16. See, I don't fault LeBron for anything that happened in his first go around in, in, in Cleveland, to me, that was like high school, right? He graduated and went to uh, college in Miami, became a man, and then he goes back after college, back home, you know, looking for his first job in Cleveland. And what I think of Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love today versus what I thought I knew of them yesterday are two totally different things. Ladies and gentlemen, if you ever get a chance, look at Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love's careers post-LeBron James. It is, I'm not even lying to you guys, laughable looking at these two gentlemen's careers. I'm talking about from a success standpoint, Kevin Love, fam, is barely playing basketball post-LeBron. This is not an all-star caliber guy. This is not a B-level player in this league. Not a guy that could be your third star on a championship team. Fam, Kevin Love is like the eighth best player on a Cleveland Cavalier team that is one of the worst in the league, literally a lottery-bound team every single year. I can make a case that Kyrie Irving has legitimately ruined about three teams, <laughs> literally ruined about three teams in as many, like in five, six years. I can argue that he ruined Cleveland as he went out of the door. I can argue that he ruined Boston as he went out of the door. And I can argue that he is ruining the Brooklyn Nets as of right now. Cleveland, he left them high and dry, randomly demanded a trade, even though he said he was going to be there long term. Boston, he said he wanted to be there long term at a pep rally, ended up leaving anyway. Now Brooklyn, he's not even playing basketball right now. We have to go back in time and give LeBron James more credit for the three championships he won prior to joining the Los Angeles Lakers. And, and Anthony Davis's ring is still up in the air. Depending on how AD take care of himself in his prime and going forward, that's how I'll reassess this Los Angeles Lakers run. Fam, look at this run that Brown was able to pull off with a Chris Bosh who barely played basketball after Brown left, Dwayne Wade, who... As great as D-Way was at his prime, this dude's going to be a first battle Hall of Famer in a couple years, no questions about it. Look at the years Dwayne Wade. Every year he fell off it when Braun was there and with him in Miami. Look at Kevin Love's career right now. It is – I don't think Kevin Love's a Hall of Famer. This dude was going to be a shoe-in to be a Hall of Famer at one point in time. I don't think he's a Hall of Famer. And speaking of that, by the way, 
don't think Kyrie Irving's a first ballot Hall of Famer. He'll get in. He'll get in. It's the NBA Hall of Fame. He'll get in one day. I'm sure of it. I'm, I'm, I'm not even sure of it. I'm, I'm close to confident that he'll get in the Hall of Fame one day. But he is not a first ballot Hall of Famer to me. He's not playing basketball. He doesn't have meaningful basketball under his belt over the last few years. He's unavailable for playoff runs. He's injured a lot. He's mentally unavailable just as much as he's physically unavailable. Fam, look at the last four or five-year stretch for Kyrie Irving. You tell me if you saw that comment. It has been beyond describable. That's one of the eras that I'll have a hard time explaining to my kids. You know the Dennis Rodman era in the 90s? The 2000 run our test era? The 2010s? We had a couple of different guys that fit that mold. We are now in the 2020s, and the Kyrie Irving era is literally undescribable. And I think we should maybe give some more credit to LeBron James because he was able to win with this.